Halleluja! Welcome to Redeeming Love Blog Meet. Friends and family at home and in internet world, you are signed on to your RLB channel, your YouTube channel promoting 21st century generation, gospel revolution, and liberation for change. Please reach for your Bible and check the scripture references made prayerfully, even as you listen to this blog. I thank you kindly. My text is taken from St. John's Gospel, chapter 11, verses 24 to 26. It says, Martha said unto him, I know that he shall rise again in the resurrection at the last day. Yeshua said unto her, I am the resurrection and the life. He that believeth in me, though he were dead, yet shall he live. Whosoever liveth and believeth in me shall never die. Believest thou this? In end of text. Hallelujah. The subject of my blog is, Your journey on earth is to acquire knowledge, overcome sin, death, and the grave and ascend to a higher life in eternity. Hallelujah! The spirit man in your physical body originated from the creator and bears his image as it is written. And Yahweh said, Let us make man in our image after our likeness and let them have dominion over the fish of the sea and of the fowl of the air and over the cattle and over all the earth and over every creeping thing that creepeth up upon the earth. Genesis 1, 26. You, the spirit man, must dominate and rule over the desires of your flesh which are influenced by the fallen nature that operates in your members. Romans chapter 7, verse 23. Know that desires of the flesh, when followed, do not bring glory and honor to Yahweh, your creator. Rather, they rebel against him and his word. Romans chapter 8, verses 6. And verse 8. Interestingly, physical man was formed from the dust of the ground by his majesty, Yahweh, his creator, by his kingdom principles. And as any manufacturer who has the sole right to his product, Yahweh, who created man, has the last say over the affairs of men. And his plan of salvation for man, according to his kingdom principles, is no exception. Initially, Yahweh took Adam, the physical man he created, into the garden east of Eden to edify him about things he needed to know and do in his new environment he had chosen for him. So in the very garden which was created by kingdom principles itself, Yahweh also made an agreement or covenant with the spirit man who dwelt in Adam's physical body and said to him, As it is written of every tree of the garden thou mayest eat, but of the tree of the knowledge of good and evil, thou shalt not eat of it. For in the day that thou eatest thereof, thou shalt surely die. Genesis chapter 2, verses 11 and 17. According to the covenant, Yahweh give Adam dominion or control over the trees in the garden, except for two trees that were in the midst of it namely the tree of life 
and the tree of the knowledge of good and evil, the fruit of which he was forbidden to eat. Genesis chapter 3, verse 24, 2, verses 16 and 17. So Yahweh did not give Adam permission to eat the fruit of either tree. Bless God. Genesis chapter 2, verse, verse 16 and 17, 3, 22 and 24. Adam, the spirit man, being edified of Yahweh's kingdom principles and his flesh being in alignment with those principles, he was in tune with his heavenly father, walked in obedience to his command, even a good fellowship with him. However, Eve, who was naturally attracted to the colorful serpent, became so obsessed with its words, he shall not truly die. He shall be as gods, knowing good and evil. Genesis chapter 3, verses 4 and 5, that she eventually ate the forbidden fruit and shared it with Adam. As a result, they gave way to their desires of the flesh and ignored the word of Yahweh and came short of his glory. As a result, Adam and Eve were cut off from the very life of Yahweh, their creator, and universal death was passed on all mankind. Your journey on earth is to acquire knowledge, overcome sin, death, and the grave, and ascend to a higher life in eternity. Hallelujah! Beloved adults and young people of the 21st century, due to sin working in your members, your spirit man is trapped in your physical body of death. And you need the Spirit of Christ in your life to deliver you, to deliver your physical body from this death. It is a body of death when you serve sin with your flesh. Romans chapter 7, verse 25. And according to Yahweh's kingdom principles, the wages of sin is death, but the gift of Yahweh is eternal life through Christ our Lord. Glory! Hallelujah! Romans chapter 3, verse 23. Yahweh has provided you, the spirit man, a physical body to dwell in, and that you bear the image of Yahweh, your creator, in whom there is light and no darkness at all. As a result, your daily lifestyle must reflect Christ within you, and that others might see the light and give Yahweh glory. As it is written, let your light so shine before men, that they may see your good works and glorify your Father, which is in heaven. Matthew chapter 5, verse 16. I urge you to study the infallible word prayerfully so that you grow in grace. Also, it changes your mindset, improves your moral qualities, such as enduring faith, confidence in Christ, boldness to witness for him through empowerment by the Holy Ghost from on high. To overcome the desires of the flesh, you must modify the deeds of the flesh. According to Yahweh's kingdom principles, you, the believer, must walk in the spirit and ye shall not fulfill the lust of the flesh. For the flesh lusted after the spirit, and the spirit against the flesh, and these are contrary one to the other, so that ye cannot do the things that ye, ye would. Galatians chapter 5, verses 16 and 17. Your journey on earth is to acquire knowledge, overcome sin, death, and the grave and ascend to a higher life in eternity. Now to solve this problem, that is to do the things that you would, that are in line with the word of Yahweh, 
walk in the light of the gospel of Christ and bring your body in alignment with his word that your physical body may be quickened or restored to life by the spirit of Christ and the kingdom principles which is applied here say but ye are not in the flesh but in the spirit if so be that the spirit of Yahweh dwells in you now if any man have not the spirit of Christ he is none of his and if Christ be in you the body is dead because of sin but the spirit is life because of righteousness but if the spirit of him that raised up Yeshua from the dead dwell in you he that raised up Christ from the dead shall quicken your mortal bodies by the spirit that dwell it in you therefore brethren we are debtors not to the flesh to live after the flesh Romans chapter 8 verses 9 through 12 beloved as you journey by faith on earth look not on earth for your abiding city for your abiding city of promise is beyond the grave which is why you need to set your affections on things above if you are risen in Christ the kingdom principles applied here say if ye then be risen with Christ set those things which are above where Christ set it on the right hand of Yahweh set your affections on things above and not on things on the earth for ye are dead and your life is hid with Christ in God when Christ who is our life shall appear hallelujah then shall ye also appear with him in glory mortify therefore your members which are upon the earth fornication uncleanness inordinate affection evil concupience that is strong sexual desire or lust and covetousness which is idolatry for which things sake the wrath of Yahweh cometh on the children of disobedience Colossians chapter 3 verses 1 through 6 hallelujah oh praise the Lord glory to God your journey on earth is to acquire knowledge overcome sin death and the grave and ascend to a higher life in eternity beloved your affections were set above when you seriously took the step of faith and were baptized into the death of Christ as it is written know ye not that so many of us who were baptized into Christ were baptized into his death therefore we are buried with him by baptism into death that like Christ was raised up from the dead by the glory of the Father even so we also should walk in newness of life for if we have been planted together in the likeness of his death we shall be also in the likeness of his resurrection knowing this that our old man is crucified with him that the body of sin might be destroyed that henceforth we should not serve sin hallelujah for he that is dead is freed from sin now if we be dead with Christ we believe that we shall also live with him knowing that Christ being raised from the dead died no more death hath 
no more dominion over him. Bless God. Hallelujah. For in that he died, he died unto sin once. But in that he liveth, he liveth unto God. Likewise, rock ye also yourself to be dead indeed unto sin, unto Yahweh, true Christ our Lord. Romans chapter 6, verses 3 to 11. Beloved, having crucified the days of your flesh with Christ, you live by faith of Christ who dwells within you and walk by faith in the newness of life. And with this new experience, on the level of the spirit, you bring your body in alignment with Yeshua's kingdom principles to get victory over death and the grave. Let's give Yahweh praise. Hallelujah! Glory, glory! Bless the Lord. Hallelujah! Consider now... If you put a natural seed of a plant into a plastic bag, it would not germinate unless you plant it into the ground and it dies. And you would observe that the body or the sprout that appears is not like the same body of the seed you have sown. This is so because Yahweh has given it another body. So also is the resurrection of the dead. At physical death, the body is put into the ground where it is sown in corruption. But by the power of the Spirit of Yahweh, that raised up Christ from the dead, if the body is raised in corruption, so also is the resurrection of the dead. It is sown in corruption. It is raised in incorruption. It is sown in dishonor. It is raised in glory. It is sown in weakness. It is raised in power. It is sown in natural body. It is raised a spiritual body. There is a natural body and there is a spiritual body. Bless God. Hallelujah. First Corinthians chapter 15 verses 42 to 44. And here is the mystery concerning how the dead are raised. The scripture says, Behold, I show you a mystery. Hallelujah. We shall not all sleep, but we shall be changed. In a moment, hallelujah, in the twinkling of an eye, at the last trump, for the trumpet shall sound, and the dead shall be raised incorruptible. And we, shall be changed. Bless God. For this corruptible must put on incorruption and this mortal must put on immortality. And when this corruptible shall have put on incorruption and this mortal shall have put on immortality, then shall be brought to pass the same that is written. Death is swallowed up in victory. Oh, death, where is thy sting? Oh, grave, where is thy victory? The sting of death is sin. And the strength of sin is the law. But thanks be to Yahweh, who giveth us victory through Christ our Lord. 1 Corinthians chapter 15, verses 51 to 57. Let's raise your hands and give Yahweh glory and praise. Glory.
glory, glory, glory. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. And now, this is your moment of inward transformation and homecoming. Welcome, beloved. When Christ resurrected Lazarus, the brother of Mary and Martha, a believer in the resurrection and a friend of his, he made a public demonstration to show that he was and still indeed the resurrection and the life. John chapter 11, verse 25. And if you have not been baptized into Christ's death as yet, according to Romans chapter 6, verses 3 and 4, Acts chapter 2, verse 38, do so at your earliest opportunity and bring your spirit and body in line with the word that you may have boldness, a strong prayer life, and faith in Christ to overcome sin, death, and the grave. When your appointment with him would have come and ascend to a higher life in eternity in Yeshua's name. Let us give Yahweh praise. Glory! Hallelujah! May Yahweh richly bless you and your household in Yeshua's name. Well, our time is up. And for your added blessings, please share this video message with as many people as possible. Remember to move your mouse over the RLB icon at the bottom right hand side of the screen to subscribe in order to receive new notifications. That is, if you have a laptop or a desktop, I thank you kindly. Study the message and the scriptures provided and keep praying up. Stay on the path of righteousness. Be sensitive to COVID-19, a strange new variant as a caution. Sanitize, wear your mask, and practice social distancing, especially when in public. Stay safe until the next Redeeming Love Love Meet. Shalom.